Hello everyone. In this video, I'm going to use two examples to show how to use MT Scribe to support model evolution tasks. And the first example is about how to scale and enlarge the events quality of service aspect language models from a small number of sites to a larger number of sites. And here is a specific process. You need to first add a new gateway in each of the existing sites. And after that, you need a new site that contains the same configuration. And then you also need to make connections from the new event channel to each of the new gateways in the existing sites. And finally, you need new connections between each of the existing event channel to the new gateways in the new site. And now I'm going to show how to use MT Scribe to demonstrate this process and generate the pattern that can be used to automate the whole process. We start a new demonstration in MT Scribe to demonstrate the evolution process. So we first add a new gateway and a connection in the existing site. And then we add a new site which contains a new event channel event supplier, event consumer, and event type references. And of course those connections between these new elements. We also need a new gateway in the new site and the connection. And finally, the connection between the new site and the original site. And some of these operations should be generically executed according to the different number of model elements. So we'll identify them in the dialog and now we finish the demonstration. And after the demonstration, you can apply the generated transformation pattern to automatically complete the model evolution process, for example, from three sites to four sites. And of course, you can continue to apply the generated pattern to a further involved model. For example, here we want to execute the pattern four times to involve model from four sides to eight sides. And all the new connections and elements are created automatically. And of course, you can complete the whole process by manual editing or by writing programs, but that is just more challenging than the simple demonstration. Another example is about how to manage the cloud computing application node models. And if the node has a very big CPU load and a CPU load change of rate, we want to replicate the node and uh, balance the CPU load. We can start a new demonstration to demonstrate how to replicate a node. To replicate a node, you need to create a new node as well as setting up all the attributes of a new node to be the same as the one you want to replicate. So you can use attribute refactor to select attribute and do the attribute editing you want. You can also balance the CPU load. So you can choose the CPU load and uh, read the value and divide it by two so that you can balance the load. To replicate node, you also need to replicate the node services inside the node. So you need a new node service and also set up all the attributes of the new node service to be the same as the one in the previous node. And since the number of node services in the node is unknown, so you can only demonstrate one node service replication and later identify the operations as generic. So in the dialog, you simply identify these generic operations and then you can give a precondition for the transformation. So you can, for example, specify what kind of a node is called overloaded and we want to replicate. So you find out the node you just touched in the demonstration and then find out its attribute. You can say the CPU load must be over 100 and the CPU load rate of change must be greater than 10. And that's why we call it overloading node. So you give this kind of preconditions, and then you finish the demonstration. We can then apply the generated pattern to manage other nodes. 
For example, this node has CPU loads 350, and this one is 115, and both are overloaded. And now we can apply the pattern to automatically find out this node and replicate them. Because this node has the CPU load 350, so we need three more nodes to balance the CPU node to be below 100. And this one is 115, so we need one more node and to balance the CPU load to be 57.5.